Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Amber. So when Eric was about a year and a half and Alexis was a month old, Josh decided to go to a jewelry store and get me something for my birthday. So because Alexis was a baby, he, he left her here with me and he took Eric to this jewelry store. Now he had Eric in a stroller and when he's looking around for stuff, Eric started to get fussy. So one of the workers gave Eric a styrofoam cup that had some water in it. So Eric drank the water and then he started to play with the cup and he started to rip the cup in pieces. So the next thing that Eric did was take a piece of the styrofoam and stuck it up his nose. So they got home and I opened my gift and Josh had got me a beautiful diamond necklace. Now, I have no idea where that necklace is. Shh, don't tell Josh. Um, so anyway, then Josh proceeds to tell me about what happened at the jewelry store. So when I hear that my sweet little boy has something stuck up his nose, I start to panic. I'm like, we, we gotta get this thing out. So we're trying to kind of hold him down and look up his nose and try to get up there and it, it's just, it's not working. So of course it's a weekend and the doctor's office is closed. So I call the um, on-call number and the doctor says, well, you probably shouldn't leave it up there over the weekend because it, it could cause an infection. So we have to go down to the emergency room and try to have them get the styrofoam out. So we get in and they have to have two people try to hold them down and then a person try to use these long tweezers to pull it out, but they were unsuccessful. So then they told Josh, hey, come over here. So they told Josh to plug his good nostril so he's plugging Eric's good nostril. And then to have Josh put his mouth onto Eric's mouth and blow as hard as possible. So Josh does that, puts, puts his finger on Eric's good nostril, puts his mouth up to Eric's mouth and who blows. Well, when you blow, stuff comes out. So the styrofoam did come flying out but so did a big old huge wad of snot came shooting out into Josh's face. It was kind of funny, kind of funny to see Josh, you don't get all the snot in his face. And, but I'm glad that it came out. Now they charge us $400 to get that styrofoam out. And I was like, you guys didn't really even do anything. It was, it was all Josh. But whatever, we got that styrofoam out. Now, was that the one and only time Eric stuck stuff up his nose? No. So he then took a calculator and somehow ripped the button up and stuck that up his nose. He also took some corn and stuck that up his nose. So that boy and sticking things up his nose was, woo. So tip of the day is if your child sticks something up their nose, you now know how to get it out. So good luck. Make sure you got a face mask on to block all that snot, but no worries, you'll get it out. Second tip is if your husband buys you a nice diamond necklace, don't lose it. All right, sit on back. Relax, have a laugh, and I hope you enjoyed this video. So I'm excited to try this new mascara out. It is called the L'Oreal Air Volume Mega Mascara. So it claims to have mega volume that doesn't weigh down your lashes, an airy feel that puffs up your lashes, and a cushiony brush to coat all your lashes. Now, I'm gonna admit it, it's gonna be tough for me, but 
I have an obsession with mascara. So I'm constantly buying and trying out new mascaras, but I've got some high standards for mascara. One, it better make my lashes look long. Two, it better make them look thick. And three, it better not flake on my face. So I had a very bad experience once with some mascara. So the mascara looked beautiful, made my eyelashes look thick. It made them look long and luscious. Um, but at the end of the day, I went to the bathroom at work and I looked in the mirror and I was like, what is that on my face? It had flaked so much that it looked like I had black freckles all over my face. I was like, huh? Ah, how long has it been like that? But I didn't give up on the mascara. I thought, well, maybe Maybe it was just a one-time thing, you know, I'll, I'll give it another chance. So I did it again. So I wore it the very next day and the same thing happened. I went to that bathroom at work and there they were, black little freckles. So every like hour I kept going in the bathroom and having to wipe them off my face. So we are going to give this mascara a whirl and see if it meets up to my standards. So I now have all the eye makeup off this eye. So we can test this mascara and you can see it for its true self with no eyeliner or even the eyeshadow kind of blocking the view of what it truly looks like. So we're gonna test out the three things. Does it give it mega volume? Does it give it a light airy feel? And is the brush all cushiony? So let's give it a whirl. So I also wanted to show you what the bottle looks like. Um, so it's different than most mascaras is that this one is flat and it kind of tapers to the end. It reminds me a lot of like a makeup brush handle. So that is what that looks like. Here is what the wand um, and the bristles look like. Okay, here we go. Let's try it out. We're gonna kind of give it a coat. We're gonna run it down backwards on the back side, and we're gonna look up, kind of give it a shake, look down again. Now I usually curl my eyelashes. Um, I kind of did a one curl um, or one squeeze, so I didn't give it a whole lot. So we'll see how much it curls up. All right, so that is what one coat looks like. So right now it looks kind of separated. Um, so we're gonna try and give some more coats. I'm gonna try and hold the mirror up a little higher and maybe that will help as well. So let's give some more coats and shake it. Um, I usually like to kind of use the tip of it as well to try and get in between and kind of spread out those eyelashes. So now I'm gonna kind of go back and I kind of blink too as I'm doing it. Now, you'll see I'm getting it all over my lid. That's normal. We can use a Q-tip when we are done. So that's what a second coat looks like. So let's try one more coat. I'll try to get a little better in the screen this time. No guarantees. Um, and let's see what a third coat looks like. So here we go. We're coating away, very black. Um, it's definitely clumping together. So let's try to shake and kind of separate them. Oof. It's really, it's really sticking together. It's looking very, very thick. So now I'm going to take a dried out brush and just try to comb through it and see if we can get some of those eyelashes separated. So I'm going to comb that through. And there we go. Now I'm going to take a Q-tip and we're going to wipe the excess that hit the lid and try to get it off. And it's, it's not coming off very well. So it's definitely, definitely tricky. Uh,
so yeah it's not it's not coming off too well so I'm gonna say this um, if you had eyeshadow on and you try wiping you're gonna be basically wiping all your eyeshadow off so what are my final thoughts on this product so we were grading it on three things the volume the light fluffy puffy feel and the cushiony brush so first the volume i give it an a plus plus i mean look at those things they're black they're thick that's amazing look at this eye from earlier i mean i have multiple coats on i'm wearing two different mascaras and this thing this thing outdoes this eye so amazing the light airy feel yeah i'd give it i'd give it a b plus a minus i mean it doesn't feel dry um it feels i guess light um so yeah that's okay the cushiony brush again i'll probably give it a b plus a minus um i probably would never even notice if i didn't read that i would have never noticed it from any other brush it's not as rough as like this one um so yeah it, i'd say it's a little softer than than some so definitely love this product wear it i give it a f on is if you bump your lid you're you're gonna be in trouble because it it does not come off no so i am definitely going to continue to use this product again look at that volume that is just i'm blown away that's amazing um and i'm just gonna have to try to be really really careful to not hit my lid anywhere um otherwise again i'll be in a little trouble so again highly recommend this if you do use it just be very careful go slow um and try not to, to hit that lid so love it so it's the next day. It's actually St. Patrick's Day. Got my my green on, got some green eyeshadow on, and got my clover socks on. But I wanted to give you an update on the mascara and how it performed. So the thing that I gave the <clears throat> on was trying to get it off the lid when you hit the mascara on there. So today I was very careful and I actually didn't hit my lid at all, so that was not a problem. Now, because I was being so careful and trying to go so light, I will say that the volume kind of went down. So yesterday I gave it A++. Um, I'd probably give it an A-. minus. Um, now, because I did have to go try to go lighter and be real careful, so I feel like that kind of sacrificed some of the volume. Um, but I would still recommend the product. I think it's very good. Um, I'll try to get kind of close and kind of look around and kind of show you what it looks like. So still a good product. Um, again, to make sure you don't hit your lid and then you're in trouble because now you got it all over and it's not going to come off. You do have to sacrifice some of the layering and some of the thickness. But overall, again still really good all right thank you for watching my video i greatly appreciate it if you enjoyed it make sure you hit that thumbs up make sure you also subscribe and i hope you have a wonderful day and just remember jesus loves you and we'll see you in the next video bye